Hey everybody, uh, James from TDB here. Over the course of the last six to nine months, I've done a couple of articles on the price of 2018 Puer. To do these articles, uh, I basically took most of the uh, 2018 freshly pressed Puer I could find and put them into a Google spreadsheet and their prices uh, when they were originally pressed uh, in past years. So how did I get sort of like this historical data? I essentially used archive.org to look back and see what prices these teas were originally sold for. So one really basic question I like to ask is what was the average or the median, in this case, cake in a certain year? So this is uh, what the cost when the tea was first pressed and made available for sale is. So for 2011 teas, this is the price it was when it was offered for sale in 2011. Now I could jump through all the combinations and permutations of the calculation, but for the sake of simplicity, it is essentially the average price of the median T of each vendor, um, and then is then weighted by the vendors who actually press T in that year. So that, that's a mouthful. You can read the article for more information on that calculation. Um, but okay, here's the average T, uh, which I suspect that most of you are more interested in. The price for 2018, uh, the median tea uh, from Western Vendor, important, basically came out to 30 cents to 30 cents, uh, 32 cents a gram. For a 357 gram cake, this comes out to around $110. Um, but because this is 2019 and we are talking about Western Vendors, it is more realistically something like a $60 to $65 200 gram cake. All right, so let's look back and compare that to 2011, our earliest year, where the price was around eight cents to 12 cents a gram if you weight the vendor. Um, I think the 12 cents a gram for me is personally, feels more accurate. So this would be a uh, around a $40, 357 gram cake. Pretty big difference. Now, while it's true that prices have risen a lot over these eight years, if we look more closely at the data, we can see that a lot of this uh, rise occurred between 2011 to 2014. Um, in these th three years, the price more than doubled, whereas 2014 and 2018 prices are reasonably close with maybe 2018 being 10 to 15% higher. Um, and overall, if we look at 2011 to 2018 growth, it is something like a 175% increase um, substantially more than sort of the increase between 2014 and 2018, meaning that the price really, really went up between 2011 to 2014. One other comparison also done uh, from this data is by vendor and seeing what part of the market certain vendors are more likely to focus on. So this is sort of an aside from the main point. Um, and it basically involves comparing a vendor's price against the median from that year. So using this analysis, it shows that Yunnan sourcing and Cha Wang shop tend to have uh, the more budget friendly teas about 30 to 35%. Their median teas are about 30 to 35% lower than the median tea from a certain year, uh, from sort of the average median tea from a certain year. Yunnan sourcing's median tea for 2018 was 18 cents a gram, which would be a $36 200 gram Bing or a $64 357 gram one. Quite a bit less than the median in our data set. White tea and tea urchin tend to be on the pricier, more premium in, about 40 to 60% more than the mean. Uh, white to tea's average tea, median tea from 2018 was 45 cents a gram. So that's $90 for a 200 gram Bing or $160 for a 357 gram one. Uh, so that's quite a bit more expensive than Yunnan sourcing, for instance. Um, and sort of Crimson Lotus Tea splits the difference and comes down sort of between those two uh, larger extremes. All right, a second methodology I did was to look at specific regions or areas that the most uh, prolific and consistent producer, Yunnan sourcing, did and compare the initial offering price throughout the years. So for instance, I would take the Monjuan Tea that Yunnan sourcing may have made in 2011, 2012, uh, and then compared it with what the price looks like in 2017, 2018. Um, so there's caveats galore to this approach. The sample size, for one, is a lot smaller. 
Um, and the vendor could also switch to a different farmer or find a cheaper or premium source. Not all tea from the same area is created equal. Nonetheless, I do think it's an interesting way to measure price. Um, and for the most part, the findings here co corroborate what we know from our initial method. And actually, prices have gone up by about 275% using these measurements, more than uh, the other way of doing the math that we originally did. Um, so, interesting. All right, so if we step back big picture, prices have gone up an awful lot for poor. Uh, the focus of these articles is specifically with 2018 prices and how they compared to the past. If we compare them to, to directly to 2017, the price difference is really pretty mild. Uh, the prices are well within, I think, any sort of margin of error. Uh, so this is, in a sense, good news because prices have been rising and rising and rising. Um, on the other hand, 2017 was probably the most expensive year of poor in the history of poor. Meaning, uh, twenty if twenty eighteen is about the same, it was still pretty damn expensive. So uh, the same could be said between twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen. They thankfully have not gone up uh, as the same rate as earlier, but they haven't gone down either. And if anything, have sort of edged upwards slowly, uh, meaning they are still at historical highs, even if it has plateaued a little bit. All right, so I think that's about all I have to say about this. Please do check out uh, both of the articles if you are interested. Um, just sort of a uh, data post on just 2018 poor prices and another one on uh, look at the price of uh, the price of poor through nine UNON sourcing productions. Uh, these posts are pretty nerdy, pretty data-oriented data if that's what you are into. Um, let me know how you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Cheers.